spiritual path, we have to learn to be to focus our mind and not let the mind wander right and left. The union with God is beyond the mind. The mind cannot comprehend love. To be love, we have to begin to love. People talk about the state of samadhi. What is samadhi? Samadhi is without discrimination, without any judgment. It is pure love. Once uh, Godi told the story about Lily. Lily was uh, married, happily married, and uh, the problem was the mother-in-law. The mother-in-law was old-fashioned, and uh, she always wanted that Lily bow in front of her, that uh, <coughs> she was served, and uh, with the time, Lily get upset with this. So she could not more bear this mother-in-law, and she decided to get rid of her. So she went to a friend of her who had a herbal shop, and she told her oh, the story and asked her, could you help me to get rid of this uh, woman? And the friend said, okay, I can manage it. Look, I give you these herbs. They are very powerful, so don't put too much every day when you cook the food for her uh, so that nobody can uh, realize that you were killing her. <clears throat> uh, put just a little, and with the time it will work. But one thing is very important. You have to play the game. You have to just show that you love her very much. Okay, say Lily, I can do this. And uh, <clears throat> so every day Lily was putting some of the herbs on, in the plate of the mother-in-law and uh, <clears throat> showing more and more how much she loved her. As the time passed on, um, the feeling of uh, Lily began to change. Uh, and uh, as she was showing so much love for her mother-in-law, this feeling that she was showing in the outside began to produce the same feeling in the inside. And after some months, she realized, okay, she's not so bad, this woman. So <clears throat> I don't want to, 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 to get rid of her. So she went back to the woman of the shop and she asked, oh, you know, I don't want to get rid of her. Do you have something else to, uh, something to get against uh, this poison? And uh, <clears throat> the woman of the shop said, well, you know, what I gave you is just oregano. So it was no, no problem to stop it. You can continue also. <laughs> this shows that to love, to be this love, what we are truly, we just have to practice it. The fact is to send love to people that you don't know, that you never saw. And by doing this, you realize, firstly, that the mind don't function anymore. She's not in the game. And <clears throat> it's all about the heart sending this love, something that you don't do normally. You send love to people that you don't know. This state of surrender is something that uh, the mind don't like very much. <laughs> to surrender to the master, this is the first thing that uh, the mind don't like at all. Because the master tells you things and the mind think, huh, what is he talking about? And sh the mind had his own um, ideas about everything. The mind knows always better. You know. It's like this. The mind always think, uh, I know better. So the process with uh, uh, a Sadhguru is just to renounce this mind. It doesn't mean to become stupid, 
but it means that you shortcut the mind to listen and to obey to the master. It's not to act like a sheep, no. It is the highest degree of controlling this mind. Because then you zip it and you say, okay. <laughs> also, if the mind is running and uh, uh, thinking a lot of things, seeing the, your obedience, then the master will guide you. But as long as, as long as we see this judgment, in our mind, as long as there is this discrimination in the mind, we will still have to work to attend the non-discrimination state. And then the real love can awake. Only when we renounce this mind can we understand what truly love is. And when this pure love awake, it embraces you. It's not a feeling that you say, yes, I feel happy or I feel sad. It's beyond that. This is a, it's a state where you find the union with the divine, where you realize the self. It means that you don't identify yourself with the body or with the mind, but with your soul. So all fear disappeared completely, because fear is an invention of the mind. It is a creation of the mind. But in reality, when you follow a sad goal, where should fear be. Because, you know, the devotee, the disciple, can be also far away from the master. But the master is always with the disciple and the devotee. Only when we renounce this mind can we understand what love is. By surrendering to the divine can we feel this love. When we surrender, we don't question him why it is like this and why it is like that. We just accept it. We accept everything because we know He is with us. You see, acceptance on the spiritual path is something very important. To accept the others, how they are. Because we are all different. What is different is not our faith or the sex that we have. No. We are all different because the succession of all the lives that we had is completely unique. Every one of us has a, had many, many lives, but all these lives combination is unique. And this makes us special, every one of us. But at the same time, we are all united because the soul, this part of God that we have inside of us is all the same. So at the same time, we are all united and all different. Some mystery of God. By surrendering to the divine, by building this relationship with God, we become more and more identified with Him. God will come to us in the form that we are worshipping. Whatever, if we like the form of Narasimha Dev, Narasimha, He will come in this form. If we connect with uh, the Divine Mother, He will come like this, with Kali or Lakshmi or Radha, whatever form we use in our mind. So the process is to use this mind to connect with the divine. Instead to let the mind running outside, to use this mind to go inside ourselves. Because our, each part of our body on the spiritual level is connected with the deity. And all these deity which are inside of us control a part of our body. They are just waiting. So, and He is beyond this mind. So the only way to apprehend God, which is love, is with the love, to begin to love.